Hello everybody, we're back here in the Gourd Banjo Building Workshop. Last time I laced this goat hide on here, uh, which I got from Jeff Menzies down in Jamaica, natural goat hide, and discussed how I finished some of these gourds and stuff. So now we're gonna we're gonna set our tacks and try to cut these ropes off and get closer to having our, our new banjo. Now one thing I want to discuss quickly too is um, Pete Ross has pointed out to me a couple of times that the, most of the early examples of these banjos we have, they're, they're not using upholstery t um, tacks, those domed brass tacks. They're using smaller um, cut iron tacks, something that in the you know, early 1800s, 18th century, um, would have, little tiny tacks they would have actually cut out of an iron sheet, so hence the name of cut tack. Uh, and then really what was probably most common was using some kind of hardwood peg and basically pegging your hide down kind of like a, a cobbler would peg the sole of the shoe and probably even maybe using perhaps imported cobbler's pegs for that purpose. Um, but or at, at least at the very least it's not that difficult to hand whittle however many uh, little hardwood pegs you need to do this. I haven't done anything like that yet. Anyhow, <clears throat> I'm I'm using these iron little iron cut tacks. Just I'll see if you can see the just the cheap iron cut tack from the hardware store. Nothing to it. Okay, now it's very important when you go about doing this. You need some kind of hammer. Um, you need either like a rawhide hammer, a little small rawhide hammer, or a small hard rubber mallet, something like that. Don't use a, a brass a brass tack hammer to drive these tacks. Because uh, you, you could damage the gourd. Gourds are, you know, these are strong gourds, but we want to be careful with them because we don't know. It's not like you're dealing with a, a, a bent ash rim that's in, basically indestructible. Okay, without further ado, um, since this is an early build, <clears throat> normally I would maybe take a tape measure and mark out where I want each tack. Make it look nice, like on a tack head, like minstrel style banjo. On something like this, I'm just going to eyeball it. And... So let's see what we got here. This is, let's see, I'll try to get it pretty close to the rim. There we go. And I'll just grab another one. And I'll, I'll just, I don't know if this really matters since it's all tied down already, but just for, you know, the sake of, you know, tradition, <laughs> my training. I'll go straight across and try to, to go that way. As if I was tightening up, you know, the um tightening up the hooks on a on a modern banjo. So you see there that one is um damn roughly right across. Okay, I've got a few started on here. I'm, this thing is not being great at autofocusing today, but you see I've started doing it. Basically starting out with a, like a, you know, I don't know what they call it, a star pattern when they're tightening drum heads. So from here to here, from here to here, and then just start cutting up the pie. Okay, everybody. I've got this thing all tacked up. And you can see I kind of went with a little double layer there. I did my first layer and then I wanted to fit some more in there. And instead of doing them on the same plane, I just kind of staggered them a little. I've seen old tack head that looks, there's at least one or two originals that, that survived that are kind of tacked down that way. Okay. So at this point, if I was making like a minstrel style, uh, a more commercial later tack head style banjo uh, or something, I would take some electric tape, is what I normally do, or masking tape or whatever, and just tape over the tacks and try to get myself as straight a line as I can right next to the bottom row of tacks. And then I would get an X-Acto knife and cut very carefully along that tape line so that when I remove the tape and the strings and ropes on the back, I have a perfect straight cut. But you see, I already eyeballed these tacks, just threw them in there. So I'm gonna take my, um, my razor knife, and I'm just going to eyeball this cut. Since this is sort of a, you know, a real rustic, early style banjo, I think that'd be fine. So here we go. I think it is nice to have one of these, um, one of these fat-handled razor knives. 
when you're doing this job and the curved little the scalpel blade this makes it makes this sucker pop right off so okay let's see if I can start here I basically kind of tacked up right to my edge up here so I might just start right past that try to start cutting Okay, I got it cut. We're gonna start peeling. So usually when you peel it, you'll have to, some of it'll come apart easy. And you'll have to just sort of lightly go over some other parts again, where your, where your razor didn't get down deep enough. Boom. She's popping off now, it's turning into a banjo. <laughs> okay, here we go. There we go. Check it out. Okay, everybody. Uh, we'll probably do another one of these. We gotta keep doing working on this banjo and showing you the steps, but that's all I'm gonna show you on this video. We have mounted the hide on this early gourd banjo. Pretty neat. Let's get a little preview of how it's gonna look. Whoop, if I can. Oh, oh. Yeah, this is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be a good one. I already like it.